this next practice video is going to be called At the Laundromat. So I'll give you guys a few minutes to look it over and from these choices you'll see which word fits best in each sentence. After you've had a minute or two to look at it, I'll let you know what the answers are. Or we'll go through them together. guess we'll start with the first one. The first sentence, I'm going to use the word Tuesday. Alright, the sentence says, on Tuesday the laundromat is open. Meaning, you know, it's op when something is open, that means you can go there and, well, <laughs> do what you need to do versus if something is closed or a business is closed, then you can't go there or do anything there unless it is open. So, yeah. <laughs> So, maybe I should talk a little bit about the words I'm using. Tuesday is a specific day of the week. I just noticed I haven't done that video yet, but I will, about the days of the week. So, that's on my bucket list. Alright. That might be what my next video needs to be about, the days of the week in English. Okay, so uh, please forgive me, sometimes I seem a little scatterbrained or whatever, meaning sometimes I have a little bit of trouble collecting my thoughts. I'm still kind of new to this, so bear with me. Okay, the second sentence I'm going, hold on. I'm going to put the word laundry. And laundry is another word basically for clothes. Laundry can be any type of clothes. Shirts, skirts, pants, socks, underwear, all those kind of things. Yeah. And the sentence says, Hal has his laundry at the laundromat. So, he's washing his clothes there. The laundromat is a place where you do wash clothes. Usually you have to pay for it. Alright? So, the third one, Third sentence, I'm going to use the word uh, clean, the first one. It says his clothes will be clean. tried to sh uh, draw a shirt and pants here, but, eh, I don't know. <laughs> Try to help you better understand what I'm talking about, I guess. Okay, so the fourth one we have, I'm going to use the last word, which is will. says 
His children's clothes will be clean. So I guess that is like um, in the present time talking about the future. They're going, like he's going to wash his children's clothes at the laundromat and in the near future they're going to be clean is what um, they're saying by will in this sentence. Alrighty. So that's it for this small lesson. And I'll see you in another video.